Hey, when you're out here sipping Mountain Dew, Baja Punch, any day could be a beach day. This is the life. What is up everybody and welcome back to Coco's Create. I'm Coleman, I'm back on the Coco's Create set. I know last week we were in the car, but now we're here on the Coco's Create set. Feeling good, loving life, ready to review some Mountain Dew Baja Punch. Um, so yeah, so Mountain Dew released two new uh, flavors at the beginning of summer, Baja Punch and I believe Baja Colada was the other one. I have not seen Baja Colada. I wanted to do them together, I was looking for it. I just recently found Baja Punch and I've been looking all over every single time I'm in a store. Um, you know, anybody that's been in a store with me can attest to this. They go, Coleman, what, what are you looking for? And I go, Baja! Baja! I'm looking for the Baja! There's plenty of regular Bajas which are out for a limited time as on their own sale uh, rather than being out just exclusively at Taco Bell. But there is, a, there is a shortage of these apparently. So Baja Punch, I've just recently been able to find this. Uh, it's got a fancy little lovely orange hue to it with some crazy citrus uh, and water and stuff like that on there. It looks Pretty cool. I think that's a jellyfish on there, and a beach ball, and octopi over there. I guess it's just an octopus because it's just the one of them. Uh, it's not. It's not multiples. But yeah, uh, the bottle is not what you came here for. So yes, this is do with a blast of natural and artificial tropical punch flavor. So um, you know, tropical punch flavor. That doesn't really say exactly what it is, but um, I guess it's. Tropical and kind of punch almost um, But yeah, it, it doesn't say exactly what the flavor is, but we will see when we sippers on it uh, There is a big old uh, like giveaway and stuff um, It ends September 12th 2021 you can enter and like I think every week they have different prizes um, I do believe you have to buy a bottle, but I'm not exactly sure uh, So yeah, uh, that's that's the bottle. I'm pretty excited. You guys know my thoughts on Mountain Dew, you know you know how much I love it, um, and so yeah, I'm pretty just excited to dive in here. I don't really have too much else to say. You know, I don't know if I've done a full shot of the Coco's Crate set here, so I'll just kind of move out of the way so you can see it. I'm a little off center, so you can see the uh, sides there. But just a quick tour. We got uh, Peeps X Pepsi. You know, just lots of lots of stuff. Um, maybe I'll make a whole video doing doing kind of a tour of the room. Showing off the set a little bit more in depth. Um, you guys can can see a little bit more of my life. My life. Um, anyways, uh, I think I'm just about ready to take a sip of this. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Here you go for your ASMR pleasure. Okay, it didn't really crack as well as it normally does. But um, you, you guys know. And usually there's a nice little crack on that. Um, it smells, it smells familiar, like a Mountain Dew I've had before. Maybe it's just because it smells like Mountain Dew. Yeah, I think it's pretty much just a baseline Mountain Dew scent, um, but we'll see if the flavor can, uh, can surpass me on that, because a lot of the time, because things kind of smell, you, you don't quite get the right scent off of it right at first. And then you're munching on it and you're like, oh, hold on. And and then you realize that maybe it's not so bad. So, without further ado, let's do the do. Cheers. Ooh! Oh! That flavor? It's kind of like a tropical punch. That's that's really nice, actually. I so let's see on the uh, actual thing here. We got cherry and what looks like oranges, and I don't really know what those are. But um, but yeah, it's it's a really nice like. Uh, I mean, really, I don't know how to describe the flavor besides saying that it's tropical and punchy. Um, 
I know I said that as a joke earlier, but it really is. I mean, it's it's definitely got that tropical uh, kind of taste to it, um, but also it, it has like a bit of a fruit punch action in there, um, which works really well as an overall flavor. I mean, I like it quite a bit. It's quite nice, and um, I'm going to keep sipping on this while I talk. I will say, it's pretty artificial tasting. I want to get that out there. Um, which, I think if you're going into a Mountain Dew, like, oh, I want something that just tastes natural. Just a nice natural flavor. Then you're going into the wrong drink, you know? You're drinking a freaking Mountain Dew. You can't really <laughs> expect that it's much different. But, um, yeah, I gotta say, Baja Punch, uh, well done. I, I like you. I like you a lot. Um, and I think overall it's, it's pretty solid. I'm actually going to take a quick cut here, um, and then I will be right back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Coco's Create. Um, so yes, I, uh, I, I think I was talking about how much I liked the drink, and I do. I do like the drink quite a bit. Um, It's got a nice flavor to it. I will say, it's a bit much. Um, and I think that's just kind of true of Mountain Dew in general. Usually they hit you pretty hard with that flavor. And so, I'm sipping this and I'm like, I gotta drink a whole one of these. Um, so it's honestly like, I might save it for later. I'll be real with you, I might just save it a little bit. But, um, but yeah, I, I like it quite a bit. I think it's got quite a nice uh, touch to it. The actual flavor itself is good. It's a little overpowering, but it's not super crazy or anything like that. It's just nice. Um, it's, it's refreshing. It's not really similar to the Mountain Dew flavor. It's, it's very different, very tropical, um, and I like it a lot. I, hopefully I'll be able to try Baja Colada. Again, I have not seen this thing every, anywhere. I have been looking all over the place. It's supposed to be out at all stores, but I don't know. It's just rare. Excuse me. Mountain Dew, you know how it is. Um, but yeah, I, I wish that I could get my hands on the Baja Colada. I just can't quite do it. So I, uh, rating this on a scale of 1 to 10, I suppose that's my next step. I would have to give this uh, fair, fairly good on a scale of 1 to 10. I think I think I gotta give it like an 8.8. .8. Uh, it would be in that in that 9 range, but it's just it's just a little off with how strong it is because I don't think that I can drink this whole bottle. I think I'm gonna kind of run out of steam before I get to the end of it. Um, so yeah, I, I do really like it, but I, I just don't think that I could fully uh, experience that. I don't think it'll I don't think it'll send me. You know, it it won't send me all the way like I want it to. It'll it'll cut me off. Um, that didn't make any sense. But I, I just don't think it uh, it's it's like good enough to drink a whole thing of. You know, I think it's gonna be nice. But I think at the end I'm kind of gonna kind of be like, because <coughs> I'm like I'm like dying, you know. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to touch on. I really don't have too much else to say about uh, this do here. I know I'm gonna enter this giveaway. Fingers crossed. I, I guess something cool out of it. I've seen a lot of the merch they're giving away. They've given out some pretty cool stuff throughout the summer. Um, and I wish I had already been entering, because some of that stuff is pretty sick that they're giving away. I don't know what they've got left, but I'm going to check it out for sure after this. I recommend you do, too. You do, 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 do. Um, if you liked this video, make sure you drop that like. If you didn't like this video, it's okay to drop that dislike. Let me know, though. What didn't you like about me? If you're like, Coleman, I don't like how many times you just said the word do, then I'll be like, okay, that's on me. And I will do whatever I can to make these videos better for you uh, in the next one, because uh, I want these videos to be the best for your viewing pleasure. Uh, if you uh, uh, want to see more of my content, 
make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of whatever I post, whatever it is, be the first one to hear about it, all that good stuff, you can comment first down there, all of that. Make sure you ring that little dinger bell. Ding. Just like that. And YouTube will send you a post of whatever I post, whatever it is, you'll be the first one to hear about it. If you want more Coco's Crate content, make sure you check in the description and you'll find links to the Coco's Crate Instagram, Coco's Crate Twitter, and the now defunct Coco's Crate TikTok. There are videos up there, but we're not posting new ones anytime soon. Uh, so yes, you can definitely check all those out down in the description. And with all that said, that's really all I have. So uh, have a good day to do. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!